Look at this. I want you to see this in green stone. You see it right there? Ah, beautiful quartz vein. Look at that. Now I know it's barren, but still, this is exactly what the old timers were looking for. Quartz veins in greenstone. See the greenstone? A lot of chloride in that greenstone. That's good. See these quartz veins running here? Oh, there's a high grade pile right there. You see it? This is a high grade pile. Oh, I gotta take samples of that. Definitely take samples of that. We'll call this the boat mine. Huh, oh, sweetie? It's the boat mine. We're not sure who brought this boat all the way out here, but they used it as a plug over the shaft and they dumped the trailer down in the other shaft as well. Not a very deep shaft. I'd say maybe 30 feet. And you can see where they're following this northeast trend. And they've dug all along this quartz vein. Although I don't think they found much because obviously they didn't complete the workings. If you look around, you'll see numerous shafts, cuts, and open pits all over the place as they cut in that altered andesite I told you about. They're trying to find quartz stringers stained with hematite for that gold deposits. Prospect shafts are pretty shallow, some only being 20, 30 feet deep. But if you check it out, they have classic timbering on them. We decided to go around the hill to a mine called the Moss Bag Mine. Now this mine produced anywhere from six to 2,000 ounce per ton, if you can believe that. And the ore is found in bladed quartz, calcite hematite with black manganese oxide staining in it. Look at all the tailings I'm standing on. Isn't this cool? So when you see tailings like this, that means that they had a mill here. Judging by the color of these tailings, I'm gonna say that they were crushing white quartz to get the gold out. And it's obvious because there's float everywhere out here do you see that just gobs and gobs of it and if they had their own mill that means that the gold ore that they were processing was extremely rich and you can see just beautiful samples out here i'm surprised nobody's come out here and and sampled the mine dumps remember mines make mine dumps mills make tailings okay there is a big difference but some of this material out here just looks so good and the mine dumps are huge, just massive things. A lot of alteration going on here, obviously, with the country rock, which looks to be andesite, which is a no-brainer. Right across the way, we have a dacite dome. And of course, there's rhyolite dikes everywhere out here. Man, this is some beautiful looking material. Just gobs and gobs of it. Quartz everywhere. I don't see sulfides. Oh, somebody threw that in there. Look at that. Oh, a uh, bunch of bees. I think I'm going over here. <laughs> I ain't messing with bees. All right, let's do a rock test. Here's the main shaft. Imagine what this thing looked like in its heyday. It's got some depth. Look at those quartz stringers in there. You see that? There's a quartz stringer there. And there, and here's the quartz vein right here, this big old honker. Look at that. Oh yeah, hey, there's a level right there. If it wasn't for those bees, we could rappel right in. Oh, why do you guys gotta be down there? I got rhyolite there, there. Rhyolite and dacite over here. Of course, all those are rhyolite. There's basalt over there. There's a whole bunch of alteration zones over there. Beautiful looking material up here. Hey! And look down there. That's right, clam jumpers. Beautiful ore too. I'm gonna have to sample it. All right, we're gonna head on out. I gotta head to town and get me an iced tea. No, I'm gonna go look for quartz veins. Ooh, and I see one already. See that white band right over there in between those basaltic flows? That's a peach spring tuff. It came from the Silver Creek caldera. Oh, look at all that float. Actually, it's not float. That's actually mine dump. And if I was to follow it over to this altered andesite. Now, I'm not going in there because last time I went in there, there was a big honking rattlesnake in there waiting for me. So I'm not going in there again. But I'll go around it. You know what? If he was smart, he'd be like, yeah, I know. Next time he comes out here, he's going to go around. Oh, there's a quartz vein. See some of the quartz veins out here? Running out here, that's why they were going gaga for this area. Look at this, this is all more quartz veins right there. Do you see them? They're running north and south. See these guys? There's a shaft. I just fall down that monker. You can see the quartz running there and here's the vein that they were chasing. See this? All through this andesite. 
This whole thing is a quartz vein. Oh, isn't that pretty? Then it goes all the way down the hill and it goes all the way across again. More rhyolite, rhyolite domes. All these came in after the caldera collapsed and the caldera is over there. All right, let's go have some fun. It's a parade. I thought I was the only one out here in the desert today. What the heck? It's like a parade. Must be a million people out here. They just keep coming. What the heck? Maybe they're out on a gold rush and they know where the gold's at. Huh, sweetie? <laughs> Look at this drift mine over here. This would be painful to fall in. Look at that monker. That is a drift mine. See it? It's cutting the cleachy. Look at that monker. Yeah. See how they cut down around the edges, created those ribs? Make sure that that's gonna hold my weight. <laughs> Ooh, that looks spooky down there. I don't like all that loose material. Any rattlesnakes? No, I hope not. Definitely a drift mine. Well, there's the bottom. Look how loose that is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was expecting something deeper. See that snake skin in there? That means there's a rattlesnake around here somewhere. I'm not liking that too much. I definitely don't like these lips. All right. I don't like all this loose material either. Right, let's see what's on down there. Oh yeah, look at that little snake right there. See him? I don't know if you can see that snake. Right there. Tarantula too. Oh, lovely. See that rhyolite, those rhyolite domes and plugs over there? Oh, isn't that beautiful? And all this alteration, day site, the white day site. No, nope, that's not a mine though. It's like, it's really Hi, baby. Oh, you're pretty. I got snacks. <laughs> I got snacks. Now, when you see the black stripe on their back, that means that they're a burrow. If they have different colors on them, then that's a donkey. And then if you mix that with a horse, it's a mule. Let's see what he wants. Where's the rest of your family? Hi, baby. Oh, okay, okay. Wow, look at that beautiful rhyolite up there. You see it? See, it's all altered down here. Look at that. This is perfect. This is perfect area for gold deposition. See where the water cuts through all this alteration zone here? Look at this. Black sand, just gobs and gobs of it. See these consolidated gravels? Right in through here and all the iron. Doesn't that look juicy? Huh? That does look nice, don't it? I might have to sample that. Down around these contact zones. That's where you should be sampling. Contact zones in between the different layers of strata. So where you see one layer and another layer, right where those two connect, that's where you're gonna dig and sample. I'm not saying it's a guarantee, but usually the gold will drop down to the next contact zone or the next layer of strata. This is all angular and rough too. Let's pull some samples. Oh, that looks really good right there. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Huh? Yeah, it's an outcropping of rhyolite and it's got tons of hematite in it. Oh, 
Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. And where did it come from? Well, if you look over there, there's another one right there. And then up here, I got this rhyolite dome. So chances are, this is probably a small vent that came up through the side because I don't see it connected with any other ones like a dike. So more than likely, this is probably like a blowout, a vent. But I wanted you to see all that beautiful hematite in there. This would be worth sampling. I'm surprised nobody has. I might just do that. Yeah, I'll take a sample of that. Now, if you see these guys out in the wilderness, when you're out hiking around in some of these remote areas where there's a lot of volcanic activity, go ahead and do soil samples around the bottom and then do some chip samples or just grab some chips off the ground. And so what you'll do is you'll take the chip samples, crush them down to about 20 minus, then pan that out with jet dry and use a jeweler's loop to inspect. And the soil samples, you pan those out with jet dry and just inspect with a jeweler's loop. This is what you're looking for, these outcropping vents that you're gonna find around these, these rhyolitic plugs. And you're gonna see, like, like I said, there's a couple of them in the area. This is always a good indication. I'm gonna get on out of here because that sun's setting and you know what comes out after the sun goes down. That's right, the oompa oompas. And I don't wanna meet them out here in this part of the wilderness because tell you what, they got a nasty bite to them. Now, if you liked today's video, which I know you did, you better smash that like button, son. Smash it hard. And I want you to get out there and prospect. If you got questions on prospecting, leave them down below in the comments, okay? And if you're not subscribed, you know the drill. Come on. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell icon. I, I shouldn't have to remind you. Everybody and their uncle says it in every video. So anyway, I'm going to get on out of here because I got more prospecting to do. And I got to go find some of that shiny. I'm going to crush up the samples I found today. And I'll leave a snapshot at the end of the video so you can see what that looks like, all right? So anyway, until next time, this is Jeff Williams and who you better know who saying you're up in the hills and you're looking for gold if you want to find some on your first shot listen to my tips and do as you're told take care everybody